How's it going? This is Korolf, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So I'll walk through the rest of the village, talk to a few more people. Nothing, nothing too important. Just checking along, see what else we can find here. Did talk to uh, Brevis. Brevis? Can't remember his name now, but he was the guy that sent us the letter initially, and yeah, I didn't have anything too much particular to say aside from talk to the lone hunter oh more tetzel worms i did uh, heal up a little bit just beforehand um are we here i need to start using your wands yeah let's just do that and i won't let you down you've got a wand as well fireball uh let's just fireball over here and then we'll We'll all run in. Boom! Okay. Now we can charge in. Nice. Oh! Nixie prankster over here. Someone can see her. Well, that works. Or are we all... Oh. <laughs> You guys, again. Oh, move away from Valerie. If she's confused, she could run over and start beating on us. 32 more seconds. Well, we'll just let these guys sort themselves out, I guess. So yeah, I guess, um, aside from looking around the map to see if there's anything else going on here, um, we were given a new location for where the hunter went. So we'll check that out after we uh, clear off this map, I guess. Miri, still confused. And so is Okbo. Oh, they all are. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Everyone's back to normal. Let's loot. Yep, got that. Okay. As well as the Nixie body. Okay. All oh, to edge play. of the map, good. Oh, and some unfortunate soul. Corpse of man lies torn apart from the shore. This man probably experienced... Was probably experienced fighter in life, but didn't do much good in the end. Okay. He had a comma. Okay, he was a monk. Alright. Oh, okay. Is this where... There's probably... Yeah, there's a climb the slope mobility check. Okay, well, I guess this is the last little piece that we need to find. I did notice that um, we picked up... Uh, where is it? There was a fish. Yes. Fish, and it wasn't just a normal fish for cooking. It's something else. And where Ivar was, there was that spot that um, uh, we could pl uh, put something down. Are you guys all coming? Yeah, okay. Some reason it would look like a few of you guys were lagging behind. Uh oh. Crying lick Nixie and Licka. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so um before we talk to Licka, uh probably take that fish over to where Ivar was and see if I can put it in that spot, because I've noticed a trend that if there's an item that you find on the map and then there's a there's also a chest or something that'll accept things, but doesn't isn't holding anything right now. Odds are you put one in the other, and that's that's supposed to be what you're supposed to do. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Not again! What are you doing here? What do you want? Go away! If my family sees you, you're as good as dead. I promise. Huh. I I hope those other Nixies weren't your family, because uh. Possibly bad news? Uh, let's just start with, what's your name? I'm Licka. This lake is our home. Though we've let other people live here, around here too. Oh, we never should have done that. We should have chased the foolish bumpkins away as soon as they start building their houses here. Now they've brought disaster down on us all. Uh, well, I'm no enemy of the Fae. If you were an enemy... You'd just be a few bubbles in the lake surface by now. But I'm here, see? 
Still standing and talking with you. Okay. Why are you crying? My family kicked me out. All because of what I did to that stupid boat. Everyone was furious when the evil box fell in the lake. But I was just trying to do the right thing. Um... Maybe evil box. Now you got me curious. Can you tell me what happened? Those men brought trouble. The ones in the big boat. They came from the tours of Leverines and brought that scary box with them. Even the fish in the lake could tell that the box was very, very evil. But those fools on the boat just laughed, bowing to the box, calling themselves Charon's Chosen or something. They claimed he'd reward them soon. I was one who rewarded them, though. I made them crash that big boat against the foot of a high cliff and sink themselves. Charon. I know that name. An ancient deity of evil and death. I was not wary he still had any worshippers. Uh-huh. Okay, did, did you sink the boat and drown the travelers? Yes! That was the last anyone saw of them. The evil box sunk too. If I hadn't done it, if I opened the box, you understand? Then something terrible would have happened. Do you know what's in the box? How should I know? I just know the box is evil. Anyone but the stupid humans can sense it. Fish started jumping ashore after the box fell into the lake. Wolves took their hunting up north to get away from it. And the humans wanted to open it. First the ones from the boat, now those other ones that came for it. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So the fish... So the people are thinking the silver dragon got the fish to jump on shore, but possibly is this evil box. Okay. Um, you said someone's trying to open the box again. Who is it? More strangers. They hid in the cave near the lake. They've been using hooks and big nets to try to retrieve the box. It's, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. That's what they would say. How can that thing be a treasure? It's a huge scary box that has a picture of a one-eyed skull with a coin on it. I don't know where it came from, but I know it's somewhere I'd never want to visit. Huh. Well, we can try and help. You look really strong. Can you do something about that evil box, maybe? I just wish it would disappear. Then all the other Nixies would forgive me and stop being angry with the humans. Oh, okay, and that would that would explain why the Nixies are all attacking us. Okay. Um. Alright, well, I'll help if I can. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Just be careful, please. That box is so creepy. Huh. Okay. Oh, scary box. Scary box quest. Alright. Oh, yeah, I did see something around here earlier. Jump into the dryad. Okay. Alright, well, I think we're headed in that direction, anyways. Yeah, that's probably it right there. Okay, well, we're gonna go up there first and see if we can. if doing that uh, fish does anything. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so just an open chest, basically. Let's put the fish in. Did that uh, do anything? Oh! Yes, it did. Oh! Oh, Wyvern! Or Wyvern. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he did... S there was um, something in Ivar's letter... Uh, that we read back in the last episode. I don't think I showed it all, but one of the things was he was trying to... He was trying to draw out a wyvern. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's just rage. Okay. Nice. Oh, good. Okay, that was not a big deal at all. All right. Okay, and that oh, and that's gone now. That was it. Just fought the wiring. Huh. Okay. Well, good enough. All right. Well, let's go see if we can help out with the scary box. Okay. Can we just walk in. 
Oh. Something. Ah, uh, okay. Had to find it. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't think we found this earlier. Hello? Anyone home? Something here. Hmm. Okay. Collect that. Well, let's... I mean, if they're followers of Charon, I don't feel Indutai. too bad at all about looting this place, because they're up to no good. Oh, what's this? These boats were obviously pulled ashore recently. Inside were hooks, pivots, and other tools that could be needed to recover things from underwater. Okay, well, we're in the right place. Hmm, what's this? More loot. Question of aid. Okay. It looks like some of our buffs are running out. Ready and willing. Um. Hmm. Now we have a scroll. Oops. A um. Wanda shield. But let's just see. Oh, this is here. It's here. Cat's grace, bless, all sorts of good things. Oh, now what? Oh, okay. Uh, pile of notes. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to read this quickly. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, it's the scavengers. Um, seems like they're half scared about... Whatever this box could be. Okay. Okay, just buffed up a little bit. All according to plan. I'll be damned, it's that beast again. No, these are new strangers. I bet they want to take our loot. They're messing with the wrong men. I shall yeah! end this suffering. Okay, let's get in there. Take this guy out. Yep, bandit necromancer. Bandit, bandit, bandit. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. Let's... Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, loot. Oh, she's too far away. Okay, move up. In due time. Move up, Valerie. Or Octavia. <laughs> and Scimitar. Okay. Lots of nice potions. Okay. What's this? Packets and crates filled with various goods. Obviously belong to merchants. Yep. Uh, oh, we weren't going to loot. This requires your attention. Oh, okay. There is a box over here. Cypress Queen's Quill. Okay. Well, that's good. I think that's like five of six that we need. That is not far. Let's take a look at this. Water and sludge drip from this huge stone block, which obviously has been dredged from the lake bottom recently. Upon closer examination, it looks like a huge chest or rather a sarcophagus. Okay, let's try a knowledge religion. Failed. The only thing about this sarcophagus you can say for certain is that it was made for me to hold a huge corpse, perhaps an ogre or a giant. Okay, let's detect magic. Magic presence here is obvious. You sense a powerful necromantic energies, but can't figure out the specific spells. Okay. Well, let's see if Knowledge Arcana does better. Succeeded. Oh, sounds like it opened. You have no idea where the sarcophagus came from, but you know enough about enchantments to know there must be an easy way to open it. Experimenting, you managed to open the lid. Your triumph is short-lived, however. As the lid slides open, there's a sound of something, something huge stirring within the sarcophagus. Ah, and it's whatever it is, it's huge, angry, and far from dead. Okay. Ah, oh, hello, ugly. Eyes. 
I'm not afraid. Uh, he gets a free raise dead on everything around here, or maybe the sarcophagus did it. Okay. Okay, well. Let's, um. Let's do controlled fireball, because that'll do. That'll hit a bunch of them. Uh, you've already used yours. Stinking Cloud probably won't work because it's Fortitude and Undead usually negate Fortitude saves, so let's do that instead. Hit you with some Scorching Ray. Uh, Sense Vitals probably won't work because Sneak Attack and Undead. But let's Rage. And... Yeah, same thing, Sense Vitals. Okay. Oh. Got him. Whoa. Got everything else. Good. Hooray! Yep. Buffing up prepares. Pre <laughs> preparing by buffing up is good. Oh, what's that? Fear effect. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, because the remove fear, it's kind of negating it right now. All right. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> A great axe. Another two-handed great axe. Nice. Let's see. Great axe plus one. That's it? Oh, okay. Not as exciting. But still. All right. Well, that uh, evil looks taken care of. Let's, um... How long is that going to last? Is it going to outlast our, um... Oh, 17 seconds. Yeah, now we're fine. Good. All right, well, let's get out of here. I guess we can tell the Nixie that uh, we were successful. <laughs> hey, we defeated the evil box of of undead. You're back. Did you take care of that box? The problem solved. There was a monster in the box, a cyclops. But he's dead now. You did it. I have to tell my family as soon as possible. Once I tell them what you did, they'll understand you're not strangers. Not all strangers are bad. A cyclops, hmm? I doubt any of us could have dealt with that. I'd say you'd earn yourself a reward. Ray. Sounds like we leveled up. Nope. Just, uh, cross that task off our list. Gold ring and two pair dots. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, and now it's raining. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's, that's it for here. Just um, yeah, collect up some stuff and then we'll head out. Alright, yeah, so we'd found the location of Silver Step Grove. Uh, how do we get there? There we go, okay. Okay, well, I wish it wasn't raining, but here we are. Silver Step Grove. Okay, so we're just kind of following Ivar. Let's see if we can figure out... Mm, Alpha Wolf. Okay. Well, let's get our buffs on. How may I help? Oh. Right. I haven't rested either. Well, we'll keep going. Let's just do a few small things. Ready and willing. I'm listening. Done with waiting. Yeah, let's just fly into a rage. And head in there, because why not? Uh oh, more behind. Oh, guys, come back. Ow. It'll be okay, we'll heal you up in just a second. Okay. Oops. There we go. Collect all. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so I guess the hope is we'll meet this silver dragon of Ivar's. Maybe we can talk. Ooh, that's a good amount of loots. Okay. Once a girl told me my eyes light up her world. <laughs> I said that the blessing of Saren Ray will light up her soul. She seemed disappointed. Let's give you that. A little bit of natural armor. I mean, you've only got 18, so it's just not going to do a whole lot. But, you know, why not? Okay, let's hit everyone with another. That was pretty good. Yep, Smilodons. And 
Akpo. Okay, there. Hmm. One more. That's good. Okay. And then... Ikendayo, let's convert. Um, how many hit points are you down? About 30. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Level 3 spell should do. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's go to the right. All according to plan. We picked up that branch. Yes, we did. Okay. Just want to make sure. So, is there any silver dragons here? We'd love to talk. Hi, Ivar. Uh, please don't sick your wolves on us. Oh, that's probably the burial sites for his family. Ah, uh, boy. Hello? With all these wolves, or uh, I guess they're wargs. Okay, well, a werewolf, are you? Hello? Don't come closer, don't. How can I stop it? It's too strong, too strong. Too yeah, you're a werewolf. Okay. Um, hopefully we can kind of incapacitate you. Oh, we can't use Stinking Cloud because we don't have protection. Uh, okay. Well, let's go. Let's use Haste on everyone then. And Rage. Ah. Oh, good. Okay, the. Looks like we knocked him out. Wolf's powerful body sinks and contorts. The beast figure features transform into the face of Arvar the Hunter. Deep wounds all over his body. So this is how it finally ends. You defeated him. That is enough. Stay your hand. Do not let anger control you. Justin looks at the werewolf sadness in his eyes. Please, at least speak with him before passing your sentence. Yep. Tell me the truth about what happened to you. Let it be my last fairy tale, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stupid young hunter named Ivar. He loved his family, his wife, his son, his little daughter, very much. He also loved making up fairy tales for his children. But one night, he came up with a foolish story. One about a silver dragon that only can be spotted if you climb the top of a high cliff as the moon rises. That very night, the children snuck out to the house and their bodies were found at the base of the cliff the next morning. His poor wife's heart couldn't bear the loss. Lisa. She was gone soon after. So Ivar cursed himself. Cursing his own blabbering tongue and reckless mind. Standing near the graves of his family, he could only mutter to himself over and over, I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Then he felt the self-inflicted curse begin to melt him from the inside. Burning him, turning him into a beast. He became a werewolf. Swore to protect the village and honor the memory of Lisa and his children. He wanted to serve people, to bring them good instead of evil, at least once. Anger and pain invited a beast soul into a human heart? Huh. When I was a kid, the old crones talked about something like this. I thought it was just a fairy tale, though. Hmm. Oh, interesting. We can ask him to become the Baron's voice and work for us? So how exactly did you serve the people? Just tell him we won't kill him. Or if we were to spare him, what would he do? Well... I don't really want him to work for us. I think that's dangerous. I mean, he has a good heart, it seems. Let's just ask him, if we were to spare him, what would he do? I've stopped looking for the future long ago. But, but I don't think I belong here anymore. Especially if people discover the truth. Were you to spare my life, I'd leave. Leave and try to find a new reason to live. Hmm. 
Well, I think we know how he tried to serve people. He kept the monsters away. I mean, well, he could control the wolves. Being a werewolf, he could kind of convince them not to attack the village. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to let him go. Enough, Ivar. I've heard what I need. I won't kill you. I was not expecting mercy, but I'm certainly grateful for it. I hope you can come to terms with your loss. May Serenry's light guide you. Thank you for showing mercy. Thank you for giving him a chance. I, I hear there's a cure for lycanthropy. Good luck to you, Ivar. Hmm. Alright, we'll pick the chaotic good option. Go, try to forgive yourself if you can. A word of parting, if I may, Baron. Consider it my werewolf instincts talking. I can tell you'll be the subject of stories and legends yourself soon, and I'm sure they'll be told far and wide across the land. Now, whether they'll be tales of horror or of hope, well, that'll be up to you. Well, that was a sad tale. Huh. Well, let's see. Uh, two small graves hide at the foot of the rock. Wooden grave markers, whittled and painted with loving care. Uh, placed at the bottom of the boats. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll explore the rest of this area, but I don't expect there's too much more to find. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're hasted, right. That is right. Oh, that's the end. Yeah, I don't imagine there's too much more here. Well, I guess we can go back to Silver Step Lake Village and uh, tell the people, well, everything that's gone on here. <laughs> Hey, so we found him. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can. We need to tell him about the um. About the fish and the dragon and the scary box. The fish were jumping ashore thanks to an ancient sarcophagus. The Nixies accidentally drowned in the lake. The Nixies lied to you. They're fey. What do you expect? But Ivar told me about the dragon. Not the fish, though, but just that the dragon is protecting us. But I know Ivar well. Ivar doesn't lie. Um, well, I know for a fact it was a cyclops kept in the sarcophagus under the lake that caused the strange occurrences around here. Cyclops is dead now, and the village is safe. So what then? The fish won't jump ashore anymore? That's too bad. Can we get another Cyclops from somewhere then? <laughs> uh, yeah, people. Well, I guess because the danger wasn't real to them, you know, they didn't know anything about the box or the Cyclops. They just kind of see the the fact that they don't have free fish anymore. Right. Well, let's see if Burvis has anything to say. Well, your suspicions about Ivar weren't unfounded. He wasn't some dragon's messenger, he was a werewolf. A werewolf? So that's who... I hope you killed the beast. Huh. No, I let him live. That was a short-sighted decision, your grace. Hmm. Um, okay, well, yeah, fair. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be anything else to talk to him about. We'll leave it there. And I think we'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.